Yo, what's up world? Welcome back to the channel, APW Sports signing in. And today is another Chicago Bears preview as the Bears host their final home game of the year at Soldier Field. And they take on the New York Giants in a game that, let's just be honest guys, that doesn't really mean much besides of the draft pick that we traded the Giants to get Justin Fields. And that's about it. Maybe the Giants playoff lives or whatever, but that might be about it. This game doesn't really mean much, but we still get some Bears football left in this season. So let's be happy about that. But before I get into any part of this video, I got a couple of things to say. First part is, like I previously said on my reaction video, I was diagnosed with COVID. And I'm happy to say now that I am basically 100%. I haven't got retested yet, but I am basically 100% and I'm feeling fine. Maybe, maybe after effects, maybe, but overall guys i am feeling fine thank you for the love and thank you for the prayers that you guys have sent to me and it is greatly greatly appreciated and two is that thank you guys for this support in the entire year of 2021 this channel has grown tremendously throughout the course of this 2021 year and we are now at over 2200 subscribers and i am very very happy about that i'm very very proud of that and it is a good milestone to be at heading into 2022. Got bigger things and better things coming on this channel. And I appreciate that you guys have been supporting and been loving of me throughout this entire 2021 year. And there's still more to come and more growth and more things to come in 2022. So I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Leave this video a like that helps this channel more and it shows you guys that you appreciate the things that's been going on on this channel and click that subscribe button if you haven't and that notification bell so you will not miss a video that i post but enough with all of that said without further ado let's dive into it i'm striving to get rich that's why i always win two years without buying shoes and feet things change now my mom hearing me with my music and she look a little proud i'm not gonna make this video very long because it is number one it's hard to preview games that don't mean much and it's hard to preview this game and bears and giants are basically decimated football team so it's not easy to really preview this ball game but we're gonna do our best at it but as i'm recording this video the bears have just named andy dalton the start of this game and nick Foles is his backup so that's basically saying justin fields is out for this game this week even though I kind of expect it feels not to play, I don't think it does him any good or bad not to play, especially with a lot of the coaching changes that's expected and front office changes that could be happening at the end of the year. Even though game reps do make a player better, it's not really going to be easy or you can't really judge too much of it because that entire system is probably going to be gone by the next year. So it's kind of hard to just really judge Justin Fields. But nonetheless, Andy Dalton is the starting quarterback. We know last week Nick Foles brought this team to a really surprising victory in Seattle. But as a unit, this Bears offense is still bad. It's still bad. It's still one of those units that is a very head-scratching offensive unit. It's rather be seen where Jason Peters is going to play on this offensive line. I'm kind of hoping that Tevin Jenkins is okay and he's able to play this week so he can get more reps. I think that's going to judge more of how things are going to go next year. Get your young guys in the lineup, whether it's Jenkins, whether it's Borum. Get your young guys in the lineup. Let them take the reps and take the snaps, especially when... This team really doesn't have much to play for besides pride. Offensively, I just want this team to follow the mentality of David Montgomery. David Montgomery, I, this guy, I think he's one of the leaders, but not necessarily by voice. The way he runs, the way he plays, and the way this team is, you can really follow a guy like that. David Montgomery has been a bell cow of this Bears offense all season, and he proved to be a big weapon last week, and he's going to have to be proven to be a big weapon this week 
against the New York Giants, who are not very good, our New York Giants defense, they have a lot of questions as well as far as injuries go with Dexter Lawrence out and Adoree Jackson out. So this defense has a lot of injuries. Hilliard, Martinez, Peppers, as I look at this roster, Brunson, Coughlin, Nate Ebner, Julian Love is out. Danny Shelton is out for this game. And this New York Giants team is, is in a similar way to this Bears team. Decimated by injuries on the defensive side of the ball. And the Bears had to take advantage of it, not only in the run game, but also in the pass game as well. It's interesting to see if we're going to get Allen Robinson back this week. I'm not sure if he's going to play. Even with him coming back off the COVID list and him recovering, hopefully he can see some snaps this week. That could make a difference in this ball game, especially when you have a veteran like Andy Dalton. And this Bears offense, I believe, can and should take advantage of this Giants defense. Should. Now, we've been proving all year that they don't take advantage of things like this. They don't take advantage of injuries. They don't take advantage of broken secondary. So it's going to be interesting to see if this Bears offense can really, really take advantage of this depleted, depleted Giants defense. Now, when you look at this Bears defensive unit, they had a solid game last week, and you're getting some pieces back, as in Gibson, you got Eddie Jackson, you're getting Jalen Johnson back, possibly King Hicks could be back, Eddie Goldman could be back and playing some football. So this Bears defense is going up against a Giants offense that is just, let's just face it, just not there. This Giants offense is not there. You're probably going to have Jake Fromm starting at quarterback. Unfortunately, Sterling Shepard tore his Achilles last week. You got Kadarius Toney out. You have Darius Slayton out. You have John Ross out. So this Giants team is depleted by injuries, not just on offense, but on defense. And this Bears defense, I believe, should be able to slow down and could possibly stop this New York Giants offense, especially if you have either Jake Fromm or the trash bag that is Mike Glennon at quarterback, because Daniel Jones has been put finally put on IR. They rested him for the rest of this season, so you're not going to see Daniel Jones this week. You're going to get Jake Fromm or Mike Glennon, and when, honestly, Jake Fromm hasn't been relevant since college, and Mike Glennon has never been relevant. The Bears have an extreme opportunity to take advantage of this bad Giants offense. Even though Saquon Barkley, he hasn't really been the same player that he has since coming back from that torn ACL that he oddly enough suffered against the Bears in last year's contest. I still believe he can be, and probably will be, the big weapon that the Giants use in order to try to move the football on this Bears team, especially with the ton of injuries that this team has, even with Billy Price on the offensive line, even with Nate Solder on the offensive line, this Giants team on offense is just depleted and has been all over the place. Even though Devontae Booker has had some really solid games this year and has been stepping up and filling in that backup running back role after Saquon Barkley and even starting some games when Barkley missed due to some injuries. The Bears defense, even with Robert Quinn having a hell of a season, all pro level type of season, almost close to breaking the Chicago Bears sack record. Roquan Smith, the absolute biggest Pro Bowl snow, snub, in my opinion. I said snub. But the biggest Pro Bowl snub, in my opinion. Two guys that are having tremendous seasons for this Bears defense. And I really believe those two are going to play some really good football. Even though the Bears have a lot of injuries as well. Carson, Houston Carson, Mag Trevathan, and Obunye, and Tabor's out. And Thomas Graham Jr., I did not mention to him yet. He's been stepping in and playing some solid football for this Bears team out with all the COVID and all the injuries that has been going on. So the Bears have the opportunity to take advantage of this depleted wide receiver core for the Giants. This depleted team on offense, this Bears defense should be able to take advantage of it. Now, I'm not going to do my three keys this week because it's hard to gauge either one of these football teams with all of the injuries that each team possesses, all of the COVID and all the things that's been going on with each of these football teams. But I can say the Bears 
I can, you know what? I'm gonna go to get ahead and give some keys, and they're not gonna be long. Key number one: commit to the running game. It's gonna be cold. You're gonna get a snowstorm coming in Chicago, and running the football is going to be key. David Montgomery is need about 20 to 25 touches a game. Number two: the Bears have to take advantage of this depleted wide receiver core of the New York Giants and take advantage of these. Not so good quarterbacks in from or either Glenn and Joe Judge has not committed to a starter yet. And three, the Bears are going to have to find some success in the passing game against this depleted Giants defense. Either whether it's Mooney, whether it's Demir Bird who stepped up, Goodwin who stepped up, Komet, Graham, Robinson. You're going to have to find ways to be successful in this passing game with Andy Dalton. But with all that said, my pick for this Bears game is going to be... I'm gonna roll with the Chicago Bears. This is the first time I picked the Bears in quite a long time, to be 100% honest. This is the first time I'm picking the Bears to win this game. I just believe the Giants do not have enough to win football games. They are too depleted on offense. They are too depleted on defense. The Bears are starting to get some guys back. The Bears coming off a surprising good win last week against Seattle. And I just think that momentum is going to carry them this week in their last game of Soldier Field for this season in front of our lovely Chicago Bears fans. So, with all that, I'm picking the Bears to win this game. It's not going to be a high-scoring game. We're going to pick a score of 21 to 14. The Bears, I think, are going to win this game at home. But that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys leave this video a like. As is always, comment your thoughts about this game down below, even though it really doesn't mean much besides the Giants draft pick that they have from us and some pride. really doesn't mean much. But comment your thoughts down below. And as always, click the subscribe button and notification bell so you will not miss this any video that I post on this channel. But I am APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Enjoy your New Year's. And Happy New Year's to everyone out there. Thank you guys for getting to this point in the video. And if you've gotten to this point, comment bear down below so I know you've gotten here. But make sure you guys have a great and excellent day. Happy New Year's. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.